So water resources engineering has two broad divisions. Hydrology where we look into the water availability aspects and hydraulics where we look into the water supply aspects. We also deal with environmental engineering as in water treatment systems. At the same time we are also dealing with natural hazards such as floods, droughts, even for that matter heat waves to some extent. In our group, we are particularly interested in extreme events, you know, events such as heat waves, floods, droughts, how they interact with natural systems, with anthropogenic systems. It is said that we are living in Anthropocene, an era where human developments and human settlements play a major role in altering the Earth's face. So in such an era, how much these extreme events are changing, what are their characteristics, how you should define them, and what sort of impact do they lead to? Those are the questions that we are addressing. We are also interested in particularly investigating the role of anthropogenic climate change. For example, if you had a very heavy rainfall event like the 2015 winter rainfall in Chennai, did climate change play a role in making that event more likely? So those are some of the questions that we are trying to address. So um, it, it's difficult to comment on that statement, but I think in general, uh, you know, complacence is is not a virtue that I really look forward to. I think even after working for 20 years, 30 years, even 40 years in a field, you may not know enough to qualify yourself as you know some title so there's no end to learning you know we should we should continue learning as long as we can i think a lot has changed between the time i was a student till now the first major change in iit that i noticed was there is a huge increase in the traffic and this just shows that you know, we are always trapped between these conflicting objectives of growth on the one hand and ensuring sustainability of our resources on the other hand. So, between the time then and now, I would say civil engineering has become a lot more interdisciplinary in nature. Boundaries are slowly vanishing. We are using latest developments from information and communication technologies, machine learning, statistics, mathematics and all of that is being reflected in the kind of science questions that we are addressing now that were that people could not even think of addressing let's say 20 years back or 30 years back so i'll be honest with you uh, like all civil engineering undergrad students i had a prejudice and special liking for structural engineering because we do it with so much rigor in our undergrad but uh, so my getting into water resources engineering was uh, not something I can say was by choice but when I look back at it I am really really happy that I made that choice because these days it has a lot of opportunities if you look at the universities both in India and abroad there is so much scope of new things to be done so although I went into water resources engineering by accident but I'm very much proud of that accident.